Okay, so uh, what's up, guys? Super Summit 713 here. Uh, just got a new recording software for the computer. It's basically like a capture card and stuff. So I'm gonna be trying it out today by showing you guys a video on how to use a uh, white hole. It's like a an editor for the Super Mario Galaxy series. Um, visit Curvo64.com if you wanna see more information on it and download it. There's also another uh editor for Super Mario Galaxy, but it's called uh, Energy in the Galaxy. But I'm using this one, so once you get all this stuff installed and stuff, you know, you have to like get, I think you have win, have to have win R, 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 win R, A, R, I mean, to do this thing, so, and you can see, like, and make sure that you also have like an ISO and stuff, so yeah, for the thing, once you've also installed that, see, that's my ISO files, I extracted them using uh, the Dolphin emulator, so I guess you're probably going to need that too to do all this stuff so um but yeah I don't know one of my friends was having a little bit of trouble because this thing wasn't working on him but anyways once you install like an when RAR all the stuff that's not like a recognizable file they put this like icon on it but yeah let's go ahead and open white hole real quick so and then of course it shows you this you know, click on exe of course so um once this thing gets opened up, sometimes it takes a little while, of course. Um, one moment. Oh, my cat's biting my foot. Hey, kitty. Okay. And now she's biting the quarter. You you don't bite that cord. Okay. So, um, select game folder. You're gonna click on this, and if you have it right, see mine. That's what I titled it. So click open so now it shows you this full list of all the galaxies and like other stuff it says galaxy on the end of that those are the world maps right there I guess and staff roll that's a uh, uh, credits galaxy but you can still edit that of course so when you uh, when you do end up clicking on something like say how about cloud garden galaxy they all code name it of stuff they don't like call it by the actual galaxy that's the name of the thing so, um, let's see here. So, wait for this to load up. Mm, takes a little while, I guess. Uh, yeah. So, we have this is getting started here. Takes a little while to show up. Very slow. Wait for it. If it loads. Uh, Pre-rendering galaxy, please wait. Oh no, this like almost always works. So, and yes, finally. Okay, so this this is the this looks like the one from World Three right here, and you can see it with this viewing tool stuff. So, and you basically use the left click and the mouse to like move around and stuff and. Uh, look at this. You use the right button and the mouse to rotate. And it can be done the right way to like zoom in and stuff. You can't zoom in directly, but if you like, like here's the trick. If you're like far away from something and then you like you use the zoom and rotate, I mean not the zoom and rotate, just the rotate, it'll like uh, rotate it right. See, because I'm like pretty far away from this right now, see? But if you just simply rotate it, and of course you can use this along with it, or closer to it now. So this thing has really good graphics when you actually have it going. I mean, it's not the it's like the best viewing software. I mean, it's not the best for editing stuff, but I mean, it takes a while to edit anything much, but it does work very well when it comes to this. Uh, so this is just a galaxy I'm scrolling through. You can see how you can do it from the different angles and it shows all the paths and stuff. I'm not sure how to fit all that stuff yet. I'll I'll show like tutorials on how to do that once I get it figured out and stuff. So it looks like this is where the galaxy starts, of course. And yeah, and you can basically like um, you can add objects and stuff and apply them. I'm gonna show you how in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this galaxy. Really simple. Uh, here's the galaxy that I've really screwed up over here. The big galaxy. That's the supermassive galaxy, by the way. 
if you want to see this, I've, I've, this was when I was practicing using the tools, and I have to admit it's a pretty screwed up looking galaxy now that I've messed with it. I was just random cre creating stuff all over the place. I hope the gravity doesn't mess up when you play the level or whatever. Hope you don't like automatically get sucked into a black hole or something of some parts. As you can see, I have edited stuff. I decided I was trying to figure out what I should do with all that random stuff that I put there, so I decided to move the comet metal. Because as you can see, I've rearranged some stuff here, and we got a little stack of swamps right there. And swamps are swamps. I don't. Yeah, swamps. But and then you can see where I put bunches of random stuff. I decided to put the Comet metal like right there underneath that thwomp thing. You have to rotate it several times once you actually get uh object selected to like make sure that you have it. You have to view it in like several different uh angles to make sure that it's exactly where you are because looks can be deceiving when using this editor. Um, as you can see, I've added a bunch of random pipe stuff and I've edited, I've added enemies and stuff over there, some too. So, haven't ever actually tested out this yet because some. Doofus still owes me my Super Mario Galaxy 2 game back. So, I've just been editing it for now. And stuff, I've only worked on like two galaxies really, but it's still pretty awesome. Didn't do much over there, but as you can see, over, let's see if we can get this to rotate right. Oh my gosh. As you can see, I've messed around over here too. I made it to where you had to like go around that way. Planets in the way, just randomly move stuff. I tried to edit over here, but I was afraid because I'm not sure how to edit this galaxy exactly. And those cannons really need to get out the way there. I'm not sure what's up with that, but that's crappy. I'm gonna click on the zone and stuff. I'm gonna instruct on how to use stuff here, though, I suppose. Man. Okay, so let's say we want to go ahead and like add something new. This is all relatively simple. Uh, and what is that? You can also like click on stuff to view it and move it. Not zoomed in far enough. Uh, see, so you can. Rare. So you'll be like add object and stuff. You can like click on a different thing and it'll show up. And you can also, if you choose, you can like type in something like say, I want a coin, which is like really boring, yes, but hmm. So you can say, coin circle, how about that? And what if we say, like, put it right there? So that'll like make a coin circle appear, I guess, around it. And sometimes they like show the object as those little blue boxes. Usually, if you want to put it somewhere, if you click it right on top of another object, it will usually appear like right on top of it. But if you're like randomly just like, if you click an object and say put it way out there in space, it'll probably go like really far back. It'll shoot it way back there to where you have to like uh, change the angle and then move it up front and stuff. And um, the other galaxy I've been editing, that's been something that is really annoying. Let's see, let me see. Why not? Okay. Um, but like the other one I've been working on, it's a bit better than that. It wasn't crappy, the red and blue. And this is, as you can imagine, the flip swamp galaxy. So we see here this this is the basic level right here, but if we can rotate we can see what I've actually done to this level. Alrighty. And as you can see I have extended the level quite a bit. Uh tower right there in the thingy. We use certain rotation and Rolls off. She had to do that in a second. So I'll make it to where I have to go basically straight up, and then it's basically like the regular level except for extended. And then random stuff over here. I got a couple top men stationed around. I'm planning to finish off the level. It's gonna keep going that way. I'm planning to like rotate these things sideways and stuff. Cause you can do that, right? You can click on one of these. Like the one that I've been using for Z rotation uh, on that side, it's negative 91, and that one on regular 88. They're not standing perfectly straight though. I'm not sure how to make it straight, but you can like say Y rotation here and it'll rotate uh, to where it can go sideways if you can like see it over there like right there see I just rotated it and you can also do it like this you can rotate it basically in every single type of dimension thing 
I'm going to show another video where I actually work on creating this level some more. I might edit down there some too, but I think it's fine. It's basically just an extension of this. So you know what? Mm, X. Mm, no, I'm not going to do anything much with that. So I'm basically just showing you guys all the stuff in this video. I mean, uh, Mario Face Ship Galaxy. They, they actually call it the Face Ship. So I can see my white hole's actually working a bit faster now. So, yeah, like I said, like if you want to do this, remember uh, Win RER, Dolphin Emulator, or just straight up Galaxy ISO files. If you get the ISO for it, you have to uh, use it and then say like extract and stuff. You have to uh, do it on the viewer and stuff. Don't just like double click on the file, just once click on it when you're selecting files to open in Dolphin and then just click open. And it should show up on the uh, application itself and not open up in a game folder because you don't want to actually play it on here, you just want to do the thing. As you can see, I've added a princess feature right there and crap. But, and yeah, once you do that, you say extract all, and you like just extract them to a folder that you've created. And that'll extract it the right way, because if you extract every single one of them individually, which I made the mistake of doing that and spent several hours doing that the first time, it will not work. You have to like extract it a certain way so the game directory will go over right. Um, so... Once you do that, Whitehole should work, and I'm not sure if there's any other requirements. Uh, you need Java JRE 7 according to uh, whoever. So make sure that you have that as well. And, you know, it's basically all for this video. I'm going to show you guys more on it later, but I'm just testing out this new recording software going on here, like I said. And, you know, so that's basically uh, all for this video. Please like and subscribe and don't dislike because one of my own friends disliked my last video and I am not that happy. That's him. There's one more little galaxy that I haven't tinkered with that you guys can check out I guess. Uh, I haven't tinkered with this one yet but I sure will in the future. The ghost galaxy right here you can see over there. And then, hmm. As you can see, it's really cool how you can like view it and stuff. I like the way that you can view it in the browser. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. So yeah, that's all for this video. Um, yeah, see you guys soon. I'm hoping that all my videos will be in good quality for now. On. So the crappy recording quality. Sorry about that. And they've included that as Auntie Hall starting five. But yeah, see you guys around.